Hello, and thank you for choosing my tutorials for your Blender 3D education. I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. In and enjoy the tutorials. Uh, hello and welcome to tutorial 17 on how to create a complex terrain. Alright, uh, first thing I want you to do is go ahead and delete the default scene here. Alright, and switch to the top view. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a plane. Size it up. Uh, not too much. Alright, uh, go into edit view and subdivide this plane. Uh, we want to subdivide it a few times, uh, give us a lot of faces. I don't want to give you an exact amount, it depends on how much your computer can take, how much abuse it can take. Alright, uh, after you have it subdivided, uh, go ahead and go into like an angled view. All right. Or you could even go into the camera view, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to use an angled view though. Uh, go down here and go to the sculpt tool. And uh, I remember we spoke before about using the sculpt tool, and you know that I like it. Um, one of the things we're going to do when creating this train, uh, we're going to start off by uh, using a lot of strength and a small size. And this is going to create small ridge lines like this. And it doesn't have to be exact, but uh, just make little hills and little ridge lines. And the reason I want to do this one first, and you'll see here shortly. Alright, uh, then go ahead and size it, uh, size it up a bit, and then come in and do the larger one. It just gives us a better better feel for a terrain if you do it that way. Because if you do it the other way, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good. And you can play around with a bit and uh, decide on what your terrain is going to look like. But uh, as you can see here, I have a pretty decent little terrain. Okay, uh, after you finish, go ahead and hit Set Smooth. And as you can see, that smoothed that out a bit. If we render this image, uh, you'll see that we have a bumpy plane, or a train. That's what we're going to use it for. Uh, next thing I want you to do is go ahead and go into the Shading tab. Hit Add New. And uh, go into Shaders, and turn the specularity down. This is going to stop the light from reflecting off of it, and uh, giving you that glare. Remember, we're making a terrain. This is supposed to be dirt, so uh, we want it to be dark, black, and uh, non-specular. Uh, you can go ahead and even turn the heart up if you want. All right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the particle system. So go into Object, uh, add a new particle, and we're going to make it hair. Uh, go ahead and set the amount for 2,000, and randomly placed, evenly spaced. Turn the normal up to, say, uh, we'll just start out with 20 for now. Uh, you can put in, you know, 10 random, 0 .010 random, that's fine. Uh, turn the brown up slightly, and that's going to uh, put little crinks in it. And then if you want to make your scene, scene look like it, the wind is blowing in a certain direction, you can, uh, you can add or put acceleration to the uh, the axes down here. Okay, uh, once you have all that done, uh, go over here to Children. Click on that and click uh, Particles. And as you can see, that just pretty much like tripled what we had in uh, Children, or is in uh, Particles on there. So it looks a lot better. Uh, go ahead and exit Sculpt Mode if you haven't done so already. What we're going to do is now we're going to add some color to this uh, grass. Go back into the shading mode and then texture, add new, and we're going to put a blend on it. Go over to colors and then click color band. Uh, the first color you want, uh, you want it to be black. That's just, uh, you'll see why here shortly. Basically, if you can imagine, this is your blade of grass. And this is the base of the blade of grass, and this is going to be the top. So what we're going to do is make the top 
a very light brown as it's dying. And then we're going to make the base. Well, at first we have the black, and now we're going to have a very dark green in here. And let's see. We're going to add a little bit lighter of a green. Just a little bit. And just continue up until you reach the brown. And it's up to you how many colors you want to add into it. But uh, I like to go by it. Right around four or five is always a good number. And there you go. As you can see, I have a pretty nice blend here. Now, if we go into our camera view, make sure it's centered up, and we can render this. We'll see how it looks. All right, and as you can see, uh, my grass doesn't look bad, but uh, there is no base, and I have a fix for that. Go ahead and exit the render, click on your model, and go into the particle settings. And right down here where it says emitter, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to make the make the plane show up. So let's see how that looks. All right, and uh, as you can see, um, the plane is in there now. So what we want to do is exit out of that and uh, go over to the shading tab here and go into colors or materials and come down here to where it says strands. Uh, now, as you can, if you're not close up, you can't see it, but the strands are all one size right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into strands and we're going to set the start for 1.25 and we're going to set the end for 0 0.250 and what that's going to do is it's going to make it have a, a short uh, top or a, a thin top and a fat bottom and we're going to set the shape to 750 ish there we go now uh, let's take a look at how that looks all right and uh, there we have our complex terrain uh, so recap real quick, we went over how to uh, sculpt the terrain and how to add grass and color to our terrain. And uh, you can also add a texture to it, a texture photo. Uh, please make sure to visit www.russimf.com and uh, visit one of our sponsored ads. I'd highly appreciate it. Uh, it helps me keep this website up and running. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, please feel free to uh, either email me at the website or leave a comment on here. Thank you.